Calyrex, Roly Coley, Unguru, Whale Lord, Nido King, Crown Tundra. Let's play. What's the chow chow chow? Slanton Joe here. Welcome back to another episode of the Crown Tundra. In the last episode. We found Kyorex. We battled it, me and Heihachi here. And uh, we went around the village talking to people about Kyorex. It seems that it is a fairy tale to most people, and most people don't understand what Kyorex really is. But, but today, Kyorex has asked us to talk to some people around the village about a non... Uh, a once noble steed that it used to ride. So that is the plan for today's episode. Let's start the timer. Because as you guys know by now, if I haven't told you this for the fourth time already, all these episodes are supposed to be about 25 minutes or so, give or take. Um, because I wanted to make this series a lot more interesting for you guys and uh, not get you know not record like 50 60 minute episodes so that's why i've done this i heard the king's uh loyal steed had a beautiful fur coat it was dark as the night okay the king's royal steed i was told it had a fur coat that was as white as Untouched snow. Interesting. What do you know about the noble steed? You want to know about the noble steed of the king of bountiful harvests? Well, I've been told that it was a belligerent ruffian who would run over the ha our heart and ruin them. Doesn't sound like something I'd get along with. Okay. Interesting. Again, we're getting like Chinese whispers, really. The mayor's not home at the moment. He went to look in the fields of the giant's bed. You can... Uh, you can go and look for him yourself if you're in a hurry. The fields of the giant's bed are to the southeast of the village. Go through the frost point field and just keep going to the left. Okie dokie. No, that's the slippery slope. That's the way out. Okay, so this is the frost point fields. And then down here is the giant's bed. Sorry, Jinx. Um, didn't mean to get in your way. Although you are a beautiful Pokemon, but... I'm not interested... I mean, yeah, sure. Reveal my close... Run, Heihachi. Okay, so this is the giant's bed. Okay, so where's our mare? Okay. You will find the mare uh, near some ruin. East, uh, to the east, near some ruins. Like here, for example, or... 
There's some ruins over here. I should probably get off my bike. By the way, I am using a guide. So, I will link the guide that I am using down in the description below. It is as spoiler-free as I can get. Sorry, Need Arena. I did not mean to run into you. You could... Pro you can probably go about your day. There's wild Umbreons just around. That's cool. Is there anything else around? I mean, here I am in the giant's bed. I'm not exactly sure what I should be doing here. Uh, to go and get the mare out of position. So yeah, I have no idea where I'm supposed to be or how I'm supposed to do this. Is a ruins about the place. These look like ruins. Oh, and high stone, Jonah. There he is. This, alas, this field is no good Eve. This field is no good either. The soil is barren. No crop could possibly ever grow here. Perhaps the land of the crown tundra are truly beyond hope. Oh, what's this? Our uh, dear visitor, what brings you here? Hmm. You want to learn about the noble steed of the King of Bountiful Harvest? I do. Well, this uh, uh, is a uh, hardening, uh, hardly the place for storytelling. Come to my home in Freezington, uh, and it's better we have a nice chat in the warmth. Please visit me whenever you're waiting I'll be ready whenever you're ready I'll be waiting it should I should say okay interesting uh, let me uh, do this and return to Freezington And now I need to find the mayor's house. Here I am. Have you seen what happened to the statue of the King of Bountiful Harvest? Its head has 
become massive. Yeah, I put the crown back on there. You say that the way that that's the way the king is supposed to look? Yes, that is the way the king is supposed to look. Now that you mention it, it does resemble the design of the uh, town souvenir shirts. But you speak as if you, uh, you've you seen the king with your own two eyes. I have. The statue has been broken since I was a child. Of course, you want to learn about the noble steed of the king of Bountiful Harvest. I do. Well, why don't... Uh, uh, I don't know why you'd be interested in such things, but come on and follow me. An old book I was reading long ago said the king's noble steed was uh, particularly fond of a certain special vegetable. If memory serves... Uh, if my memory isn't... But my memory isn't what it used to be. I can't recall exactly what the steed desired. I think it's best to search for yourself over there if you want to find out inf more information. I do. There are all kinds of books here about the Crown Tundra. What book would you like to read? Um, but the King of Bountiful Harvest. The King was a great Pokemon that brought an abundance to our cold land. With a sweep of its right hand, the land would be blanketed with uh, versatile fields and uh, uh, versatile grasses and vibrant grasses and blooms. With a sweep of its left hand, the fruit of uh, the fields would ripen and grow heavy. Its crown um, of green, uh, glistening, uh, the king galloped across the land uh, aside a proud steed and footsteps bud, bud, would burst from the soil and s rich life was born across the fields of the region. And so we worshipped the Pokemon and paid tribute to it as our king. The King's Royal Steed. The horse Pokemon gave its power to serve the King and carry it hither and there. The two became uh, one for a time, combining their strength to create a forest in a single night. This uh, proud steed had been a wild thing once a ravish, uh, ravishing the fields crop uh, the village crops causing much woe but the king in all its greatness brought this fear, uh, fierce creature to heed and uh, sh secured its loyalty and for each among us who claims the steed uh, Hyde was black as the midnight gloom in which ghosts appear. There is another who claims it was white as a block of ice. Now, none alive can now say which is the truth.
the reigns of unity. Though these reigns did the king send its power in order to tame and control its proud steed. The reins, in fact, were made by the hands of people in, in thanks of the plentiful uh, the plenty bought by a, the uh, king. These reins bound not only the horse and the king to one another, they bound the people to the king as well. At the dawning of a new year, we must never forget to give the king with this offering. Let radiant flowers and uh, the mane of a steed be woven together to blind us all in faith. Let the secrets of the sacred act be passed from parent to child old to grandchild and so I never forgotten. Uh, the hardy crops of the tundra. While carrots can be grown in the crown tundra, they have uh, rather unusual growth habits. When grown beneath the heaped snow, these hardy roots tend to develop into ice root carrots. When grown in the tracks close to the soles, uh, where soles are wait, uh, laid to rest, they become shade root carrots. Shade root carrots are a favourite of the ghost type Pokemon, while ice type Pokemon seem to uh, delight in eating ice root carrots. According to the old fairy tale, the steed that uh, the King of Bountiful Harvest rode upon, loved both varieties, or perhaps one or the other. Records seem to conduct, uh, contradict once another, with some stories speaking of a white steed, dawn, uh, delighting in ice root carrots, whilst others mention a black steed devouring shade root carrots. Try Freezington Snow Samba. Isn't it uh, tough dawdling with the cold here in the tundra, with temperatures seeming to drop lower and lower each passing year? While it's tempting to stay indoors where it is cosy, don't forget to move your body, t uh, that body too. Try the Freezington Snow Samba today and get your body moving to stay warm all winter. Let both, let both hands in the air. Okay. Lift both hands in the air. Wave. Uh, Eve there. Uh, let blow. Uh, touch your toe and freeze. Is then uh, we pop to start it all once more. Form a circle with friends and don't be shy. The snow samba will keep your body young at heart. Interesting. Uh, town records, tourism initiatives. Freezington souvenir uh, 
brainstorming session. Minutes taken uh, by the town. We've got a lot of submissions in our last round. So our thanks uh, to all those contributed ide who contributed ideas. We settled on an idea for a new Freezington souvenir. Sure to loom in more visitors. A shirt featuring the King of Bountiful Harvests. By reusing the artwork from some old documents, we should be able to keep the design costs low too. I am done reading. I have read all of your books. I have read all of your books. And as I leave the mayor's house, I see Kyrax. I guess I've got to go and talk to Kyrax again. Hey, mate. Um, can you go possess Peony again? I can't understand you. I don't speak Pokemon. Hmm. Oh, hey there, Chief. I had a f uh, fetching. Uh, someone called me here. Was it you? No, it's Kyrax. He wants to talk again, but you can't talk. Uh, he can't talk. He doesn't speak Pokemon. I don't speak Pokemon. But apparently you do. Human child. Were you able to find some information about my noble steed? I was. You say you found uh, out about that my uh, loyal steed... Uh, could not resist. It has been so long since we rode together, I had completely forgotten. With this information, we should be able to lure my noble steed to me. So tell me, what is it my noble steed used to find so irresistible? Carrots. Ahoy! Carrots, you say? Ah, yes, I remember now. Even back when we uh, rode together, it uh, would leap at the chance to eat uh, some of the crop. Uh, it took everything I had to restrain it. Looking back, we... Uh, cr the crop must have been carrots. I am in your debt, child. Well, if I if you're in my debt, then, you know, beer is always a thing that I like. So, you know, let's go for a pint sometime, Kylo Rex. What uh, we must do now is clear. If we were able to find carrots, I have some carrot seeds. Would you like the carrot steeds that I I have? Because I have some of those. It should be but a trifle to lure uh, uh, my noble steed back to me. Trifle? Um, does someone say trifle? I, I want trifle now. No, no, no. That's right. I, I absolutely love trifle. It's one of my things. I absolutely love trifle. If someone makes me a, if someone makes a trifle, I will be there in like seconds. So make trifles. In fact, I have campaigned for people to instead of giving me a birthday cake on my birthday, uh, I have campaigned for people to give me a birthday trifle. Uh, but they would they keep on saying no because they can't put candles in a trifle. Which is true, you cannot put candles in a trifle. 
But I don't care about candles. Just give me the trifle. I wonder, do humans even... Uh, of this village grow any carrots. If we could obtain a single uh, seed, I could grow it myself. I have seeds. By the stars! You say you have some carrot seeds. That strange... Means bag contains the, carrot the seeds of carrots. Humans never stop adapting and evolving. I am consistently amazed by your integrity. And yet, hmm, the fields of this uh, village will simply won't do. They aren't suited for growing carrots. If we could find a rich soil, my powers uh, to grow crops will need. Now, Hmm. Where might we find uh, soil suited for growing the crops in the tundra of mine? I see two spots that m might suit our needs. One is a field in pristine snow. And the other is a field by gravestones where uh, uh, who've moved on are laid to rest. Either of these locations should allow me to use my powers to grow carrots that we need. Please, I ask that uh, you choose a field to plant these seeds. Ah! What the? It seems to be getting a habit of me uh, of mine to fall asleep outside. Ah! I guess it goes to snow it goes to show that holding down the fort ain't as easy as it seems. Take care of yourself, chief, and don't overdo it. You got you got Netflix to get back to, haven't you, Pione? You marked the two locations Kyrex told you about on your town map. You jotted down the current status on Legendary Clue 1. Upon hearing, I was able to find uh, carrot seeds. Kylorex told me about two fields where I could grow car the carrots. I need to pick either of these fields in the snow or uh, by the graves and plant the seeds. Interesting. So that's where I'm going to leave off today's episode. If you have enjoyed today's episode, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more. In the next episode, we'll be planting some carrots in a field of some persuasion. I'm not going to tell you which field I'm going to choose as of yet, because I'm not so sure myself. But I will be planting some carrots in a field, and then we will see which one of the noble steeds will appear. But until next time, I am Lancer and Joe. Mean to let Pokemon get to Laza. Everybody get Pokemon. Awooga! Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, please feel free to leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. And of course, you can ring the bell and you'll be notified first when new videos come out. You can follow me on Twitter at Lantern Joe and you'll be able to get news about the channel, new videos and so much more as well. And if you want to watch some more videos, there should be some in the top right and top left hand corner of this video. But until next time, from me, Joe and from Lantern as well, we'll see you again.